What's going on everyone? It's Katie Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. Again? It's every week, the same time. <laughs> Why are you surprised? We are filming on a Friday night. That's fucking crazy. I'm sleepy. Never been done before. Never been seen before in the world. No one's ever filmed a video on a Friday night. And they got better stuff on. No. What you should be doing is watching my videos on a Friday night. That's all you should be doing. Just sitting at home and watching my YouTube videos because they drop on Friday. It's Friday night and I'm feeling pretty chaotic. My last video, I opened some mail. I was very excited by all the freebies that I got. So I thought today I could have a little look through some of my favorite freebies. I have this massive box here that is full of shit. I don't actually know exactly what's in here, but I think it'll be pretty fun to just like <laughs> have a little look with you guys. We can do good ASMR with this box, I think. Oh, that actually sounds so good. It's just my, my constant agenda is trying to turn this channel into ASMR for some reason. K-pop freebies. Do you want to see some K-pop freebies? <laughs> that sounds so creepy. K-pop freebies. ASMR. I mean, first off, look how cool this box is. Pink sparkles. This is very, very Kate core. Um, I realized that it's a little bit fucked. Like it doesn't really close properly anymore. And I think the hinges are slightly broken. Um, that's okay. It's cause I just stuff it full of shit. Let's look at it. I think this is pretty exciting for me. So I hope it's exciting for you guys too. Da -da -da. Wow, that was actually pretty topical. That was Zyka's that I was just singing then, just came just came out of my mouth. They come back as soon. I'm very, very excited. I don't think there's any uh, Zyka stuff in here, unfortunately. But um, yeah, look how much fucking shit there is in here. Like, what? What even is all of this? I think there's some real stuff in here, actually. This stuff here. This is all like photo cards that I've just had sitting around my house for ages that I've tried to sell. It's kind of like doubles of things or things that I don't want. This whole stack I think is One Us. Not a lot of people in Australia collect One Us and I buy too much of their stuff and then have nowhere for it to go. So that's what this bag is. Oh my God, look at all the photo cards. <laughs> oh my God, what am I gonna do with all of this? If you need to buy One Us photo cards. <laughs> yeah. For real though, if you need One Us photo cards, you can go visit my buy, sell, trade Instagram. We'll, we'll put it up here. If you like One Us, I'm the person to come to for real. I don't know what these ones are. This is just misc. Oh yeah, we've got some The Boys. We've got some Victon, some Ace, MCND. Very, very? Yes, very, very. There you go. There's some like oh, random shit. If you like any of this, you can also buy this on my Instagram page. I think that's all the, oh no, there is more real stuff in here. This stuff I just put in there yesterday. This is some random NCT stuff that I was going through yesterday. All these are like really sticky. I don't know what happened. There was these sticky, um, you know, tabs on it. And when I pulled them off, it just left marks on all the fucking sleeves, which <laughs> as you probably uh, know, that really annoys me. And I will probably have to change all of these and throw the sleeves away because otherwise it will drive me fucking nuts. There's some cute NCT. Anything else real in here? Oh yeah, here's some more one us. <laughs> these are like those, um, those hard cards. They're like these QR cards. Um, so I think I've got about like 10 of each member here or something. So if you need these from Pygmalion era, again, one us, the person to come to. What's in this stack? All right. Oh, that's something real. Another hard card there. With Mu, 80s. Your song, of course. My boy. I don't know what this is, but I have it. <laughs> and then these are some like membership cards from like fanship kits that I used to buy. If you've been around in K-pop for a while, V-Live used to be a really big thing where artists would do like live streams and stuff. They did like fanship kits and stuff through that. I'm pretty sure it's shut down now, but yeah, I've just like held on to these. So I've got an Ace one, Choice First Official Fan Club Fanship Card and the Stray Kids one, Stay First Official Fanship Card. So that's kind of cool. I think I kept them because it's like, they're the first ones. Yeah, so that's kind of special. I don't think I'll ever get rid of those. Hard cards. Oh, <laughs> was it during lockdown or? I was like unemployed for a while and I was trying to like start my own business. <laughs> 
and I started trying to make these top loaders, like decorated top loaders. There's a bunch of them in here. So we've got Hansei one here. He just had a comeback. So if you haven't checked that out, um, the album is called Blues, Bluesome, Bluesome, like blossom, but blue, Bluesome. Anyway, the song's pretty cool. So go check that out. We have a Temin one. It's got my name on it. You know, when you take photos of things for buy, sell, trade, um, you have to have like a thing with your name in it. So I think I used this one for a while. Taeyong. This one's kind of broken, but cute. NCT green there with Taeyong on it. And we have Utah and a Stray Kids one. I've written Stray Kids. And we have Lino, Felix and Hyunjin all in one picture. So cute. Yeah, my business didn't take off, um, <laughs> but these are still pretty cute. I'll keep them, you know, memories. Memories. These are some Zykas Polaroid things that came from albums. So those are official, but they're just in here. Oh my God, there's so much shit in here. The fake photo cards in like a pile. <laughs> and then we can have a look. All the real stuff can grow over here. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I've got this like chaotic setup here. Some more stickers and shit. Oh. Are you supposed to be looking at this stuff? Well, I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of like organizing it as I'm going and then we'll... <laughs> I'm organizing it into piles and then we'll go through the piles. Um, this is um, an ACE key ring. It's the most ADHD thing you've ever said. What? I'm just organizing things into piles. <laughs> well, to me it makes sense, right? I think this was from a fanship kit as well, but not the first one, I think the second one. It's all a bit fucked though, like it's all rubbed off. I probably had it on my bag for a while, but it's still cute. Bjornkwon with his red hair, I loved his hair like that. Hello Kitty sticker. So some of them are K-pop stickers and then other ones are just like cute ones that I got given. A lot of the time I will receive freebies and sort of give them out again. Like, you know, it's kind of how K-pop buy, sell, trade works. You just collect things and you send them out with other people and it's like a nice <laughs> cycle, I guess. But sometimes I get stickers and cute stuff that I just want to keep for myself. And I guess this is what this chaotic box kind of represents because we've got a bunch of other random stickers here that I thought were too cute to give away. Sheep and mushrooms in a glass with star fruit. <laughs> um, what, what is this? It's cats in a bay marie. Cats in a bay marie. Rabbit in space. Claw machine with Pikachu. These look like there's some um, tattoos. There's some Victon tattoos here. That's pretty cool. Alice, that's the uh, Victon fandom name. Maybe I should put a tattoo one on here while I'm here. Oh God, the thick nails strike again. And the Victon logo. Oh, so we need a separate section for tattoos as well. <laughs> the chaos. Animals, and then there's like idle ones. There's win-win, cute. Oh my God, I'm feeling overwhelmed now. This is a lot. Oh, I think this is the, um, this is the packet of freebies from the video from last week. <laughs> like how much, that's so crazy that I got all of these. So that'll go in the don't need to look at pile. <laughs> how many piles do I have now? Six. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is kind of a cool one. This is the confetti that I picked up from the floor of only one of Melbourne concert. If you guys haven't watched my vlog, of the only one of concert. I went to the Sydney show and the Melbourne show and did like a cute little vlog and I had a lot of fun. If you haven't watched it, please go and watch that after this video. This was from the Melbourne concert. I actually don't think there was any confetti at the Sydney concert. Overall, the Melbourne concert was so much better than the Sydney one. Oh, there's a piece of hair in here. Oh, <laughs> I really hope that's my hair. That's it's not. It's not. What if it's one of the members hair though? It's not. It's a random person's hair. I'm gonna say, it's definitely a piece of Nine's hair. <laughs> All right, oh, shit. Missed one of my creations. Wow, this one's pretty blinding. I just like, Shonu from Monster X. I think I made this for my old boss, actually. <laughs> I think I made a couple of them because I ended up giving her one, like on my last day, I made everyone like little Polaroids. <laughs> what a freak, like, <laughs> that's so crazy. We got a few Matthews here. Oh, these are cute. Like nice and hollow. Um, I buy a lot of Matthew photo cards, as you would probably know if you've been watching the channel for a while. So yeah, I get a lot of his freebies. Um, zeros, like zero base one buy sell trade collectors, really tend to 
go hard on freebies. I don't think I've ever received so many freebies as when I started to stand Zero Base One. This whole stack I think is Zero Base One freebies that I've decided to keep. They're all my like biases and they're all like super cute. Um, so <laughs> maybe we can make a Zero Base One freebie pile. <laughs> oh, this looks like some um, AT stuff. Yep, a couple of AT things and then some Sanrio stickers oh my god adorable i actually do keep a lot of the sanrio stickers that i get i get a lot actually people really like those i feel like it's a very safe thing to send people like pokemon stickers sanrio stickers cute animals food related ones too like those are the kind of things that people like to get i feel do i need a separate path for that stickers that people like to get <laughs> um this looks like more at stuff so maybe we can put that in this pile. Oh, more official photo cards. Unlisted. We've got um, Lucy, which is an, a band, a K-pop band. If you guys haven't listened to Lucy, they're pretty cool. And then these ones are, oh, Wei Ai and Golden Child. Random. Is this chaotic enough for everyone? How are you feeling? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Have you even started? I don't, yeah, I've started. This is content. People are loving this. Tell you what. This looks like it's kind of more um, inclusions from albums, like official stuff that I've just kind of chucked in this box. There's a lot of Cravity stuff here. There's a bit of One Us here. Oh my God, surprise, surprise. I'm wearing there, looking so fine. Bit of TXT, random. Oh, and some Stray Kids. Oh, you could pay extra to get these like hard tickets when you went to Stray Kids. So this was from the 2023 concert sound check experience yeah, this is when i was like seated on the floor um so this was the closest i think that i was to stray kids oh i probably was closer in the 2019 concert but yeah that was like a different vibe this year they're playing at a stadium this show was at rod laver arena um so yeah i was pretty close to the stage so it's nice that i've got this like memory ticket oh extraordinary heroes this is one of those little uh pop-up things these are kind of cute just like have that on your desk like hello oh yeah this is another pop-up card uh, of Sungmin from Stray Kids hello this is one of the like banners that they gave us at the Stray Kids show Aussie stay will never stray I just I keep all of these I've got a bunch more downstairs actually um I don't know why I only put this one in there you're saying stuff this is a little passport this is one way I think this was like a freebie that came with a one Wii album that I thought was like pretty cool. Um, so it looks like a little passport and there was a different one for each member. I reckon that's kind of cool. I like it. This passport is only valid for Planet Nine. There you go. This looks like some Zero Base One album inclusions. I don't know if you need any of these uh, like Zero Base One postcards, you can uh, hit me up. This seems like it's just like a, uh, like a marketing. <laughs> I'm really not. A lot of this is not for sale. What's this? Matthew. Oh, remember this? Throwback. The Xenary Heroes unboxing, the troubleshooting one, where we had those... Uh, the posters with the bullets. Yeah, the target practice ones with the um, bullet, bullet uh, stickers. Oh, this is like a little ace. Oh God. Ace tour in America. This was before they went to the military. It's like a little box thing and it came with two of these insert cards. I don't know where the other one is, but it had them in a different outfit. So you could like switch it out. I don't know, a little box thing that you can like, I don't know how you're supposed to have it, like at the front probably, right? Like that. And you just like display it on your shelf. Got some Hansei little cards. These came from his Blaze album. It was like a little box that had one of those, uh, Fuck, what do you call that? Like an S mini type thing, like a plastic thing that you can get a digital copy of the album. And it had all these little postcards in there. More Zero Base One album inclusions. Drippin', that's kind of random. More Hansei. God, this is really exciting for me. More Zero Base One inclusions. Oh. Actually, I think I need to keep these ones. <laughs> Keep pile. Oh my God, look how cute Terry is in these pictures. Yeah, so these are from, um, you had me at hello. These are inclusions that I actually wanted to keep. So I don't know why I've just chucked them chaotically in this box. Um, some more 80s, like postcards. Aw, 
I bought um, Mingi's birthday merch, I think last year, like the, the fix on ring. And they sent me this little note and it had this picture on there of Mingi. That's really, really cute. Oh, here's some like little eighties, like four cup things. What's this? Oh, Stray Kids. To keep. <laughs> oh, those are shiny stickers. Sometimes I bulk buy um, like stickers and fake photo cards and stuff to give away as freebies. And I did buy this like little collection of shiny stickers to give away. Or is it just EXO? I think it's EXO and shiny. Yeah, because we've got some Minsoc here. Chen, Jimyeon, Dio. But then we also have Ki and Taemin. So yeah, I bought these little stickers to give away. And then these are the ones that I thought were really cute that I want to keep. So they went in this to keep <laughs> little pouch. We got Xion here. Oh, here's another um, slogan. Ah, oh, this is from the same concert, but they must have had two different ones. Oh, day two. The other one must have been from day one because I went to both um, shows. NCT 127. We're not gonna look at that. Malice. This one I think is a pocket album. Wait, is this a different? Oh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? This one must have no photo cards and stuff in it as well. Why have I just got this in here? Ah, that's it. Just this Lido card and then this little, whoa. Hello. And that's when um, Raven was still in the band as well. And then La Dolce Vita. What's in here? Ah, Chion. And these really nice stickers. Especially if I buy a lot of pocket albums and they come with nice stickers. I use these like on the back of my envelopes. Usually the envelopes that I have have, you know, like the triangle part. And then I'll put like a sticker on the seal part there. And one I saw always have some really good ones to use, like a lot of shell kind of ones. And so yeah, I like to stick those on there. So I might take those out actually and use those for buy, sell, trade. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, this is a Stray Kids key ring from Stay in Playground photo book. It looks so fucked. Like, I don't know what I did to this. It must've been on my bag for like, years or something. Kind of does look like a cracker or something. Hang. You know those biscuits that you get at weddings that have like, they're really like hard and have that really white hard icing on them. It kind of looks tasty. Boba guys, NCT 127. Cool, we took everything out. <laughs> I didn't know where I was gonna go with this video, but I actually had fun doing that part of it. This is a fun video. I'm having fun. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought this was fun. I'm an adult. So here's all like the photo card stuff that I kind of pulled out. But first. <laughs> what the fuck? You better go through all that and now you're gonna do something else. Well, no, these are fake photo cards too. So I have these little like binder book things. This one's broken as fuck. What even happened to the, I thought I brought the cover with me. I've lost it. This is actually like an official zero base one photo card book. <laughs> oh shit, it's breaking even more as I'm just holding it. I think it cost me like $35, but I had it on my bag, like a little keychain, and I had it hanging on my bag for ages. Then I decided it would be a good idea to start using it as a wallet. Um, <laughs> so I had like my bank card and like my ID and my Mikey and stuff in here, and I would just carry it around in my bag like a wallet. I don't know why I'm surprised that it just like fucking broke. But this one, yeah, it was zero base one. So I think this is all just like Matthew photo cards. Winking face, love that. Um, oh, there's some stickers and stuff in here too. A little ID card. Oh, these are ones that I bought. Japan, Japan, you were there when I bought the, that like stack of zero base one little cards. Was I? Yeah, on the back, it's got like to and from. So you can use these for buy, sell, trade to like write little messages to the people that buy from you. So I bought a bunch of them, but these ones are too cute <laughs> to give away. So I kept them. Oh yeah. And these are from those um, bulk Lomo packs. I buy like bulk Lomo packs of fake photo cards to give out. And then yeah, some of them I keep because I think they're really cute. So these are some of those ones from Melting Point. Oh, <laughs> and here's some, <laughs> just broken. Oh, I like these ones. This is taken on his birthday live. What are these? 
I think these must be raffle tickets, like when I went to a cup sleeve or something and I would have bought raffle tickets to win something. So I probably don't need those anymore. We've moved away from Matthew. Now we have Tere here and we have Hanbin, but randomly there's a fucking lenticular card of nine from only one of in here, which is actually official. So I don't understand why this is in here. That's kind of random. I didn't even know that was in here. <laughs> I'll definitely be moving that into my proper binder. This one is um, a little exo. This is official merch too, actually. I bought this from the SM Town store in Korea. They had these little books and you could choose like which member of EXO photo card you wanted. And so I picked Minsock because he is my favorite member. So I think this is a photo card that came with it. So this one is actually like an official photo card. Oh yeah, so it came with the 2023 season's greetings photo card of the member of your choice. And then I think the rest of this is kind of themed to like SM artists, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh no, that's <laughs> just, just your song. Yep, I thought this is all gonna be like um, EXO and stuff, but it's it's not. It's just my main man. Oh my God, these are so cute. These two are some of my favorite freebies actually. Look at him in a little princess crown. This one's actually kind of interesting. Eh. This one I made at a cup sleeve event in Seoul. 80s Who's Fan Cafe. You could choose like what photo you wanted to be printed onto like a hard card. You use like an app and then this machine just like spat it out. So I chose this photo because at the time, like this is one of my favorite outfits of his. And yeah, it printed this out for the event with his like signature on the back. So that's pretty cool. Like I really like that. And what else do I have back here? Uh, it's a picture of 80s and there's a photo card of card. Yes, this one was from the concert in November last year. These were like freebies that someone was giving out. <laughs> I love that. And the last one is this little Karomi one. Oh my God, look, these ones I got from someone at the Stray Kids concert. These are um, Lino's cats. And someone was giving out photo cards of Lino's cats. How fucking cute is that? And um, Berry, like Banchan's dog. Amazing. Yeah, these ones are ones I got from the concert. Ayen, you've got Felix there. And then back to your song. And Minsok, looking cute. Dio. Kai, Chenyo, Yosang, Shotaro. Is that Minsok? That's a really strange photo of him. Taeyong, Doyong, and Yosang again. Cute. I actually thought that I'd themed these a bit better, but they really are not themed. There's just random shit in them. I guess the Zero Base One one was kind of themed, right? Apart from that one only. Ooh that one only one of random thing in there. <laughs> so this is all the fake photo cards that I found in that big pink glittery box. If you wanna see me go through those in a little bit more detail, please stay tuned for the next video. I had so much fun going through that box though. Um, like I found all this stuff that I kind of forgot that I had. So for me, that was very, very fun. I hope it was fun for you guys too. Do you also like to like hoard all this like fake merchandise and stickers? Because if you do, I'd really like to see what you guys have. If you like this chaos of a video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks again so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I'd actually quite like to watch someone just like chaotically look through a box of K-pop stuff. It's like a mystery box. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just riffing. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going, so it's like... <laughs> I don't really know. Do I have to say anything else? Okay, Kate. Okay. What happened over there? Split it's a disaster. Eat. Oh, look how fucking chaotic that is. That's probably like the fourth attempt on the channel, I think, to turn into an ace. Turn it into an ASMR channel. <laughs> I couldn't do an ASMR channel because I just stumble over my words all the time, and I'm just like chaotic and always screwing things up. So people would just tune out, I think, <laughs> immediately. Maybe there's like a real brand for that kind of ASMR. Chaos -A -A ASMR. ASMR woman stumbles over her words. <laughs> Just like real niche. Yeah.